Um, yes, your box is asking for my name, yep. Alright, so put your name there. Okay. And what, what, do you see any options there? Any, another option? Um, it's asking for some sort of support key. It says join team, you have joined with the server, any desk. Um, yeah, it's got a few things. Alright, just, just next to it, just next to your name. I yep. believe it's asking for a support key. Do you see that support key box? Yes. Alright. Now in the support key, type 340. 340, yep. Alright. And then 752. 752, yep. 619. 619, yep. Done. Okay, yeah. Alright, then hit continue option. Click on continue. Okay, yeah. It's saying, um, Paul Tech has invited you to join a support session. Click on yes. Okay, yeah. I appreciate your patience and your time, sir. Now we are connected. Yeah. you see my mouse just moving on your screen? It's dancing all over. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's going round and round. Alright, so now we are connected. And can I ask you, are you the only person who uses this computer or do you share it with someone else too? I'm the only user of this computer. Alright, and I guess this is the warning you were talking about before. Yes. Alright. Actually, this is a security alert from the Microsoft as you are using a Windows computer. And I guess you are, while searching online on Google, you might hit somewhere wrong that contains some kind of malware and download itself on your computer. Okay. That is the reason why you end up with the situation. Just give me a moment. And how old this computer is? Uh, it be one and a half or two years old. And what kind of activity do you perform on your computer on a daily basis? I just browse the internet, watch some YouTube videos, uh, do a bit of internet banking, a bit of internet shopping, download some movies. Alright. Alright, do you see on the screen errors and warnings? Do you see that? Yeah, yeah, I see that. Alright. These are the important applications and the services on the computer which makes your computer in a running position and protect the computer from all kind of malware in the software. But there are more than 900 applications got damaged from your computer. Okay. And you may lose this computer any point of time. Oh. That is the reason you are getting a security alert on the computer. Okay, I don't want to do that. I don't want to lose it. Let me do one thing, sir. Let me quickly run a scan on your computer first. Okay, Let's yeah. See what is the root cause of your problem, okay? Okay. And uh, do you use Facebook or any social networking website or any dating website on your computer? Yeah, I use Facebook a bit. All right. And do you remember, did you hit on any kind of fake news or fake article about any Hollywood star or anyone? Um, no, I don't know. I'll just click randomly, you know, in web pages. Alright. Do you see here local addresses there? Yeah. Alright, this local address is your IP address, identity protocol number. Alright. Okay. And this IP address connected with your all the devices like your computer, phone, a tablet, iPad. Whatever devices do you have at your property is connected with these numbers, with those numbers, which you can see on the screen, with this local address. Now, if you see just next to it, do you see this foreign addresses and there are some different, different IP address, which call establishment to your IP? Yeah. Do you see that? Yeah, I see that. Time weight, time weight indicates that there are some few more people foreign address. 
addresses who tr- still trying to get an access on okay. IP address. Yeah. So they could a- easily access to your any of the devices. So the problems that you're having and the warning that you see on your screen, it's not for the computer. That is your IP address. That is your identity protocol number. Your network got compromised. So yep. any point of time, anybody can access to your devices. Okay, yep. Well, can we stop them? Can we get rid of them? Like with, you know, can we get Vladimir Putin would, to poison them with some polonium or some radioactive nerve agent or something? Or? Yeah, first of all, sir, I would recommend you do not do any kind of online transactions until the problem gets fixed. Do not visit your online banking or anywhere with your computer or any of the devices, okay? Okay. All right, and the level five technicians and Thai hacking experts will wait to work on your case to them. Okay. Right? Is that you? Are you the level five? No. I'm, yeah, you, I'm sorry, what did you say? Are you the um, level five tech? Is that you? Yeah, we need to escalate this information as well as your uh, remote session to these experts from the level five who are going to work on your case to them. Okay. Right? So and you're not level five. I'm going to give you that. Sorry, go ahead. So you're not the level five tech then, are you? Yes, sir, like one of our uh, technician, because I'm from the computer technician, we can fix computers, but the problems that you're having, it's on your IP address. Oh, okay. So no, there are some okay. different departments who are going to work on your case. They will clean up the network, they will yep. remove this third party, and then they were going to start securing all the devices. How many devices do you have at your property, by the way? Um, well, I've got two laptops, a tablet, and a phone. Two laptops, one iPhone. Yeah, it's an iPhone, and I've also got a tablet and iPad as well. All right. So these experts will going to secure all those devices along with it. You do online banking on your computer, right? Um, I do it on my phone. The online banking. Because these experts have to secure all the information as well, including your banking, as well as your personal information which you have online. And they'll put a firewall in order to make sure you will never come across with this kind of situation anymore, okay. along with the seven socket layer. Yeah. And you will get a lifetime warranty onto the uh, securities that you don't need to renew the services. You don't need to purchase this kind of securities again and again and we install the security just onto your IP address. You don't need to buy any kind of securities from any third party, yeah. right? Because through your IP address, this security will transfer itself and that will cost you $579.99, including all the taxes. Okay. Right? Yeah, that sounds all right. So here, I'm sorry. Yeah, that sounds good to me, yeah. All right, so I will be needing some of your basic informations by using your own keyboard okay. so I can get yourself registered, all right? Yeah. And just go ahead and use those, inf- uh, just use your keyboard and start filling those information. Okay? Yep, yeah, there you go. Don't you have a Google Chrome, sir? No, I use the Mozilla Firefox. What's wrong with the Mozilla Firefox? There's no problems with it. But, okay. Uh, Alright, just give me a moment. So again, sir, you can use your own keyboard and start filling those information. Okay, again. you do. I just filled it out in Notepad. You can copy it across from Notepad. You enter the phone in the email and the email in the phone. You got it all wrong. Oh, 
I got it wrong? Yeah. Alright, uh, will you help? Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah. Alright, sir. Now, without speaking the numbers over the phone, you just have to type those informations by yourself. Well, well right? that's in my um, notepad on the desktop. If you want to have a look at that, it's, it's stored there. How do I get to my desktop? And, no, no, no. Uh, You're talking about this? No, on the desktop, on the um, background, you know? Yeah, on that notepad there, the notepad file. Oh, what's that? There's some sort of error. That's where my credit card's supposed to be. What's that say? Just give me a moment. Can you get rid of those errors? Hello, Ben Toad. Is that you? The level one Ben Toad? That's you, isn't it? You gonna talk to me? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Are you the level one Ben Toad? Is that you, isn't it? Yeah, it's me. Yeah. So, how, what are you doing? Sure, you... Are you, like... What? Trying to kidding me or something? What do you mean? You're the one trying to Do scam I mean? me. You're trying to scam me out of a lot of money there. Uh, it's not a scam, sir. Who told you it's a scam? It's, it's a, a it's scam. A Everything you did was a scam. That's just a fake pop-up. It's a business, sir. It's a scam. You're a dirty, rotten, bent-toed scammer. You cannot say it's scammer. You can say scam artist. I'm a scam artist, not a scammer. Same thing, you're a scammer. You're a Ben Jode scammer too at that. <laughs> and how did you do that? Well, if you're a real technician, you'd know. I, like, no one teaches me this kind of things. Well, maybe you should learn and you wouldn't have to scam people if you knew what you were doing. You could get a real job. Oh. Uh, well, yeah. I, I have some aims and I have some objective that I have to complete it, then I'll lift the job. Really? Once I did. <laughs> once I I've did. heard that from lots of scammers. I am. I'm going to keep calling you again and again each and every day. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm sorry. Maybe again I'm, today. I'm sorry, I didn't get you. Well, I'm going to call yeah. you again and again each and every day. So you're going to have to put up with me. Uh -huh. Whether you like it or not, until you stop. Alright. Will you, then, alright, will you, have, will you, like, teach me how did you do that? No. You're going to learn yourself. Watch a YouTube video. Oh, so did you do that from YouTube? Yeah, you can learn that off YouTube. Okay. That's where you'll uh, be soon in a couple of hours. You'll be the famous Benjo scammer. You're going to put it on YouTube? Yeah, you'll go on YouTube. You're filming? Yeah, of course. We're always recording. Alright. What's that? Someone's saying prank caller in the background. <laughs> oh, the scammer hung up. So will boot him off. And then where there we go, in session.